Hi, this is Jason with RPC Electronics, and uh, this is the first video in a series of videos pertaining to creating a new library in Eagle. In this first video, we're going to go over some of the basic elements of, of a library in Eagle and some of the things that you need to know uh, beforehand uh, to make sure that your part is not only complete, but it is also compatible with the, uh, the Eagle platform. So, let's start by opening up this this uh, schematic here where I've got a single what you can see is an 8 pin IC is displayed and the reason I'm doing this is uh, the very first thing that I want you to understand is that every part in Eagle as far as the schematic editor is concerned is based on a 0.1 inch and that's 0.1 inch grid and I can show you that by turning on the display and you can see that the current size uh, or what we call the grid is at 0.1 inches and if I now enable the grid you can see that no matter where I move the part all the ends of the pins are falling on where the grid intersects so this is very this is something very important that we have to uh, remember and maintain when creating our part okay now that we uh, now we've covered that let's let's go through the apps the parts that are, are required or the the elements that are required to create a library so I'm gonna close out of this and first thing we're gonna do is go up to file new and we're going to create a library now windows gonna pop up and you're gonna say well that kinda looks like a, a schematic editor well it kind of does but there's three things that are required to create a, a library now the very first thing I like to do when this window opens is I like to go ahead and save it as what my new part is going to be. And in our case, we're going to create an IC. So there's a typical naming convention that seems to help with being able to sort out the parts. So start with IC dash and we're going to do a 741 dash and I'm going to add op amp. So as you can see the naming, the very first one or two, uh, usually two or three characters will usually tell you what kind of part it is. Uh, that is the type of part. The next section usually will tell you what the part is as far as part number. And then the third section is a little bit more description. So in this case we know it's an IC. It's a 741 and not everyone knows what a 741 is so by adding op amp to the end we know it's an op amp. So we'll click save. We've now created our base file for our library. When you go into Windows Explorer or any any file editor or a uh, file explorer, you'll find that is now IC 741opamp.lbl for library. I'm sorry, LBR for library. Now there's three sections or three elements and I want to go over those last and then we'll and then that'll be it for this video. The very first one is the symbol. Up here in the menu bar, you can see that there's three little icons. First one says symbol, second one says package, and the third one's device. Now I'm going from right to left because it's easier to create a library starting with the symbol, then moving on to the package and then and then moving on to the device. The symbol is the actual diagram or, or emblem that you're going to draw and create that will go on the schematic. That's the visual part on the schematic. The package is the actual footprint of the, pack, of the actual device itself and we're going to go through these each uh, section at a time. Lastly, the device is what marries those two together because we got to be able to tell what pins on the on the uh, symbol belong to what pins on the device and that's how we connect everything together by using the device um, element. Once all three of those elements have been created and saved you have a complete um, uh, you have a complete library. So we'll stop the video there and in the next video we'll start with the symbol and then we'll move on to the other elements. So uh, we'll see you in lesson two.